In Creo Parametric, you can perform composite design. And one step of the composite design process is preparing your geometry. That can involve a new function in Creo Parametric 10.0 called a closed loop curve. And I covered closed loop curves in another video last year. But let me talk about why you would want to create a closed loop curve for composite modeling. Here I am in my part model in a previous video. I started my composite feature and did the setup. Let me select that feature and then choose edit definition from the mini toolbar to get back into the composite environment. So I've got my materials, I've got my layup surface, I've got my rosette. Now I want to start creating plies. So if I click on the manual ply button, well, here's the dialog box. I will cover manual plies in another video, but I need to define a boundary of where I want that ply to go. So I could select this curve over here and then use the control key and select the other portions of the curve that I want. And there you can see a preview of where my ply would end up going. But let's say I want to create multiple plies here. Well, I would end up having to click those four curves every single time. But to save myself time and effort, I can create a closed loop curve for that. So let me cancel out of the manual apply tool. Yes, I want to cancel. And I'm going to cancel out of the composite environment to show you creating it in standard part mode. So from here, I can go to the datum overflow menu. And then here we have curve. And the last choice down here is closed loop curve. And so now I'm going to select the placement for this closed loop curve. I will move my mouse over my model, a portion of a surface highlights. So I'm going to use query select to get the entire quilt. I will tap the right mouse button. And now that the entire quilt is highlighted, now I will left click in order to select it. Now I will pick my boundary chains just like I did before. Let me select this curve here. I'll hold down the control key and grab that one. And then this one here and then the fourth curve. You can see a preview of the closed loop curve. Let me hit the check mark in order to complete the feature. And so here you see it in the model tree. If I want to use it in the composite feature, it needs to appear in the history of my part before the composite feature. So I can use drag and drop in order to reorder my features in the model. Let's get back into the composite feature. I will left click on it and then choose edit definition from the mini toolbar. Now, when I go to create a manual ply, I can click on it. Let me change my material. And now for my loop, well, I can just select my closed loop curve and that enables me to create my manual ply. I'm going to cancel out of here because I'm not actually going to create this ply at this time. I do want to show you that you can create the closed loop curve also within the composite environment. So from here, I have the curve command right in the datum group in the ribbon and the closed loop curve is the top choice up in here. So I will choose closed loop curve and let me start selecting a bunch of curves that I want to use. I'll select this one and then I will hold down the control key and I can select my pre-existing closed loop curve. There you see a preview of the new area that I can choose and I can hit the check mark and that way I have a, another closed loop curve. And that way, if I were to create another manual ply, let me change my material. Now I can just select this closed loop curve as the boundary for that particular ply. So there you have it. That's how you can create closed loop curves either in standard part mode or within the composite design environment in order to facilitate the creation of your manual plies.